Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're mocking up the mechanical fuel pump, getting ready to build uh, brackets to get this sucker hooked up to our BP. So as you can see, we've already got, we took the stand and we took our pump and zip tied it to the stand just so we could move it up and down and move it around and not have to hold it. For safety, I threw a bolt and I made this little strap out of tape and taped it up. That's some heavy duty tape. This is Gorilla Tape, best stuff ever. And that's just in case it falls for security because that's an expensive pump. So anyway, we're looking at it and we're kind of thinking about where do we want the pump. We kind of know we want it on the cold side of the motor because it's fuel. Don't put it on the hot side. Cold side, down low. We could possibly go lower, but we decided to put it here. And one of the reasons is this is our inlet. We have to hook a fitting to this, like a, you know, dash, like an orb fitting to AN and then an AN to hose end. So that's going to be hanging down here a little bit. And I didn't want to get too low to where I want my fuel fittings at least an inch or two above, you know, the solid structure, subframe, all that. <clears throat> so that's looking good. But then we got to position it spatially. Now, if you'll note, we put the, all we did was take some tape and just jammed it on here and took measurements and said, hey, we want this to be an inch and a, I think we said an inch and a half. We're just trying to, that's about where it needs to be. It's pretty close. It's not perfect, but it's probably close. And so I did that. And then I taped a metal rod here and that puts the, pump where you know I can see now like easily and what I did on the pump was I kind of took a pretty good guess at where I think the center of the belt's going to be and I put a mark on there with a sharpie and as you can see we pretty much got that lined up so once we did that we're like okay axially the pump is positioned axially correct but now we got to move it up and down and left and right so we decided to do this the uh I've kind of bumped it it's moved slightly but essentially our goal was like hey I kind of want to do this easy so I was like, what if I take the center of this hole and line it up with that one? So like up and down, these two are the same. And then these, this, uh, this bolt here up and down is the same, which I've bumped it a little. But anyway, just imagine that those two are straight. So if I do that, I don't have to deal with angles and measurements. I can just, in my design, I'll say, hey, where this and this intersect lines up with that. Kind of makes it easy. And if you look at where that puts the pump, that's fine. There's, you know, there's clearance. It's not an issue. So I was like, okay, we're good with that. Uh, it could be a little lower maybe or whatever, but that's fine. So I was like, okay, that kind of keeps it simple. The dimensions for the pump are already published. I just got to pull those off their website. I'm going to bring the pump with me just in case. I have an office at my house where I can where I can do like shop work. So I'll check some of the measurements. But basically, I should be able to, I did check the threads. These are fine thread quarter inch. This is quarter 20, but those are quarter 28. So anyway, we're gonna get those dimensions. I'm gonna make a model of the fuel pump in software. And then this is our oil pump. This is where the alternator big bolt goes. And here's two other bolts on this pump. And what we're gonna do, I think, is we're gonna build a flat plate that bolts to the pump. It comes out here and there's gonna be three metal standoffs that go on those three bolts. And those standoffs will come forward and hook to this plate. So you just have big long bolts that go through the plate, through the standoff, and into the motor. Pretty simple design. We, we debated on whether we'd use all three of these bolts. And I was like, well, let's just measure all three. We'll probably use them all. But if you only did one or two, one ain't going to work. Two might work. But it'd be a little sketchy, but it'd probably work. We'll probably do three because why make life easy when you can make it hard? But uh, that's kind of a motto for this channel. But anyway, we got this, uh, this actually looks, this isn't that bad. I thought this was going to be terrible, but because I was able to mock this up and figure out where I want it, I didn't have to take many measurements because since this is already lined up, all I had to measure was axial. That's it. It's kind of like cheating. So since I know the axial measurement and I know spatially in X and Y that I'm just lining up the intersection of this hole and that hole with that one, it's really all I got to do. Then I got to model the pump and I got to model these uh, three faces where those holes go. So to do that, I have a spare, few, uh, spare oil pump. So as you can see, well, maybe you can't, maybe now you can see. So I took the pump, the oil pump. Here's those three holes. And I took measurements for the diameter of the holes and the distance from here to here. And then to pick up this one, because it's at an angle, like if you look at this, it might be hard to tell, but this one's slightly to the right. It's not perfectly vertical if you get the perspective yeah there you go you can kind of tell so because of that I did a center to center distance here and a center to center distance there and in software once I define those two numbers it'll pop into the correct position the last thing I had to do 
for the pump. I think it's the last thing. All three of these standoffs are at different heights, which is kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? So I needed to measure that, but lucky for me, Mazda machined a nice flat surface back here that all three holes uh, intersect. So it wasn't actually that hard. A little bit of effort, but I was able to use a caliper and depth measurements and a little bit of math. And I figured out the height of these holes and I went and checked them, like doing secondary measurements. And it seems like I got that right. So I ended up with these numbers. That one on the right that pokes out, 60 thou. The one in the back, 43 thou, or 430 thou recessed relative to the big hole where the alternator goes. And then this big hole, as you can see, just 2.2 inches to the face here. Um, we're going to double check a couple things when I get back home because I did make a couple assumptions like this, uh, I'll double check it, but I believe this is an inch and a half from this face. And I think that's what we were shooting for, but I'll double check that. I know it's close. And the thing is in both cases, I can slide the pulley up and down on this shaft a little bit. And same thing on the mandrel I'm building. I'm going to leave a little bit of wiggle room so I can move things a tiny bit. And if you really had to move shit, you could always put spacers behind the mandrel that bolts to the uh, to this, at least a little bit. But anyway, we're going to design it. We're going to leave ourselves a little bit of room so that we don't have to, like, one or two, you know, millimeters doesn't, like, break it. We'll have some adjustment. And that way, we can get all this close, get the stuff built, uh, machined. And then when it gets here, this bracket here, I'm probably going to weld those standoffs to the bracket. Although you may not even have to do that. You might could just bolt it together and it work. We're still thinking about that because one thing, when you bolt the pump up, it would be nice if the pump can like pivot in a way that tensions the belt. I don't actually have to do that. You can buy these belts in different lengths and I could probably make it work without that. I've done some other things in the past and made it work, but we'll see. We can probably, you know, design it to where like one of those, like say this bolt is a pivot and these two swing, and then you could take it and go like, if this was the pivot, it would go shh, swing like that. You know, and since it's swinging away from the motor, it would tension the belt. So even though that's a small bolt, I, not a very suitable one for a pivot, but you could do it. You could probably use this big bolt and I guess it would swing, maybe it would work. It would probably swing down mostly. So it wouldn't really tension very well, but we'll figure it out, no big deal. We got our dimensions, we're happy with that. I'm gonna, I've got all this stuff wrote down and I'm going to bring the pump and the, well, the oil pump and the fuel pump just in case I need to double check anything. And we'll start modeling all this in software. We'll get the pump modeled, the oil pump bosses over here. We'll get the fuel pump modeled. We'll spatially locate them where they're supposed to be. Then we'll go in and design this flat piece, design our standoffs, make that an assembly, and then go in and assemble all of this and see if it, uh, if it works. And if everything fits in software, that'll be a good sign that we measured it right. And at that point, We'll uh, get quotes, get stuff made, and put the stuff together. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed that, and until next time, y'all take it easy.